Four Ways Data Center Redundancy Protects Against Downtime, courtesy of SP Home Run's Guide to Lead Generation Best Practices for Co-Location Data Centers. Benjamin Franklin's old saying about an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure is probably not thrown around in the managed IT services industry too often. If you think about it though, it is very well suited as data center redundancy, when provisioned as a failsafe, can save the day in times of unexpected demand or equipment failure. Just like insurance, airbags, or a parachute, you never truly appreciate network redundancy until you need it. If you don't have an adequate redundant hardware and software available when traffic spikes or a DDoS attack occurs, the cost of deploying it for the next time will seem like a bargain. Here are four ways you'll be able to meet your service level agreement promises with the redundant infrastructure. Power and telecommunications. Just like with plumbing, you can have great endpoint hardware and awesome pressure in terms of content going through it. Yet if the pipes transporting it don't have the capacity or quality to sustain the flow of, in this case, data and power, even the best servers can't bail you out. Where available, invest in multiple energy suppliers and telco service providers. Often hosting or co-location companies can pass the cost of utility redundancy onto end-user customers by either offering it as a value-added service to customers or an optional add-on to offset the cost. Software. If one wireline provider's power grid fails, not having an option to fail over to means a miss on your SLAs, loss of productivity for your stakeholders, and damage to your reputation. Keep power and data flowing to and from your hardware and software. M plus one redundancy for hardware and software. Having a redundant environment available in your data center means going all in. Leveraging resources like virtual servers, backing up physical hardware or vice versa, data redundancy within database environments, multiple security appliances at the perimeter and endpoints, and physical server clustering or load balancing configuration. Matching each data center technology asset with a replacement which can be brought online immediately in case of anticipated or actual failure or high latency goes a long way towards preventing your services from failing or degrading the quality of your services. Regional redundancy. What if a natural disaster, local grid failure, or other regional outage occurs that's beyond your control? Having a redundant environment available across the country or in a nearby state can maintain your uptime, your profitability in the short term, and your customer satisfaction levels. Or set Contracting with a strategic, non-competitive data center provider or contracting racks or modules in other data centers can help you realize the value of a redundant environment in another geographic location without all the costs associated with running multiple data centers yourself. Cooling and physical security. If a seasonal or sudden spike in traffic occurs and your server's cooling systems fail, all your efforts to establish redundancy could be for naught. Provisioning a secondary failover cooling precaution is a wise choice to ensure your network doesn't suffer damage from peaks and valleys in extreme heat. Precautions like retinal scans along with swipe card security or multiple security protocols similar to multi-factor authentication are wise steps to keep the bad guys out of your facility. There are many strategies to provisioning data center redundancy in your server rooms and their related infrastructure. Putting these tips into practice will mitigate downtime and prevent the long-term ramifications of outages and poor performance. Have you had events occur in your data center which made you thankful for implementing redundancy measures? Tell us about them in the comments below. You can download a copy of this guide while it's still available at www.datacenterleadgen.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in today to learn all about four ways data center redundancy protects against downtime.